A lot of people are fans to the Marvel Universe and all that goes with it. We have some different favorites, but that doesn't matter. We are all fans. In today's video, we will show you the powers of the God of Thunder himself, Thor. He has some good and bad moments on the screen for sure, but in the end, he always ends up the winner. So enough talking. Shall we start with our list? Number 10. Invading Jotunheim We start off at the early beginnings of Thor fighting, when he appeared in his original solo film. He seems an arrogant yet powerful Asgardian warrior who wants only to fight, and while doing it, why not achieve glory for eternity? So this attitude leads him to Jotunheim, home of the Frost Giants. They go together with his brother Loki, Sif, and the Warriors Three, but they get attacked immediately by the forces of Frost Giants for the unwelcome visit. Of course, Thor starts to fight with the entire army, not realizing that he is outnumbered. After the start of the fight, Loki and Sif enter the fight. After some time fighting, the Frost Giants prove no match for the Asgardians. This is the first time where Thor is in action and he doesn't disappoint because, of course, he's a god after all. I do. Go now while I still allow it. Number 9. Hulk Rumble You probably knew that in the early beginnings while Thor joins the Avengers, he doesn't like Hulk that much. But Bruce himself also doesn't like Thor, and they have a complicated relationship, although in the future they seem to like each other, and the movie The Avengers starts this first clash between them. It all started off on the wrong foot when the two come face to face. After an ambush abroad the shield, Hellcarrier makes Bruce lose control. Then Hulk emerges and he is very angry. Going towards Black Widow with the intention to smash her, Thor jumps in and picks a fight with the angry Hulk. Even the strongest Avengers know how to keep their distance from Hulk, but the God of Thunder is the only one who doesn't show fear towards him. You know that Hulk can't lift the famous Mjolnir, the hammer of Thor? And number 8. Searcher's Army This fight occurs in the Thor Ragnarok, after Thor has been captured by mysterious enemy forces. After realizing that he is in fact in Searcher, he manages to escape from the cage. He goes to Muspelheim, in which the latter taunts him with the knowledge that Odin is no longer on Asgard. And Thor's absence leaves it vulnerable. Thor starts the fight with calling for his loyal hammer, causing Searcher to call for his creatures, leading to a fight between them. And of course, Thor effortlessly defeated Searcher's army with Mjolnir before summoning a large blast of lightning to defeat the rest of his attackers. Searcher tried to attack with the Twilight Sword, however Mjolnir protected Thor from its fiery blast. Thor then concentrated his attack on the crown, striking it several times before causing it to come off and absorb it. We are your over. Number 7. Shield Compound After his hammer landed in a crater in New Mexico, Thor and Jane Foster arrived at the place, but they discovered that S.H.I.E.L.D. made a heavily guarded research station around the hammer. Thor asks Foster to stay hidden until he recovers Mjolnir. The presence of Thor caused the hammer to produce an electric storm, which caused jamming most of the electronic devices in the facility. Thor opened a hole in the fence, and after a short time, two agents came to check the noise but were knocked out before realizing what happened. After discovering the bodies, all agents were mobilized and a red alert code was declared. Then, Thor proceeds to find his way through the facility to find Mjolnir and knocking out many S.H.I.E.L.D. agents along the way. After finding it, he reaches to lift it and finds he is unworthy of lifting it, and he gets surrounded by agents and arrested. Number 6. Iron Man While on Earth, Thor made a habit of fighting the heroes who are meant to be his friends, and he does not always get along with the Avengers. After arriving on the scene and taking Loki from S.H.I.E.L.D. custody, Tony Stark goes after Thor, and they have a fight at first meeting. The fight is mostly played for laughs, as they don't use their full potential. In the process of fighting, 
Captain America intervenes and attempts to get Thor to stand down, and he responds by lunging at Rogers with Mjolnir. However, the Captain's shield absorbs the blow. After that, Thor finally agrees to work with the humans and joins them in returning Loki to the Hail Carrier. Imagine what a fight these two can produce. Tell us in the comments who would win between Iron Man and Thor if they used their full strength. And number 5. Malekith After arriving in Greenwich, Jane Foster and Thor find that a number of portals have opened up above the city. Malekith then arrives, and Thor immediately engages him in battle, with both evenly matched. The fight continues through various portals throughout the city, transporting them to different worlds. However, while the two are fighting, the scientists use Selvig's device to deal with the dark elf soldiers, accidentally summing up a frost beast in the process. Thor and Malekith are soon separated by one of the portals, and Malekith unleashes the ether into the portals. Thor soon regroups with his friends and takes Selvig's device, noting that Ether might be indestructible, but Malekith is not. Using the devices, Thor impales Malekith with them. After that, Selvig uses last of his devices to teleport the damaged Ark, but lands on Malekith, killing him. Number 4. Battle of Wakanda We have slowly reached the epic battles of this video, and you know that is worth the wait. The Battle of Wakanda is portrayed in Avengers Infinity War and is filled with epic moments, but we think that Thor's arrival is the best moment in the movie hands down. After Thanos' army arrived near Wakanda, T'Challa ordered for the city to be evacuated. The fight starts when the numerous Outriders charge to face the Allied army, which is led by Steve Rogers. After colliding, they manage to stall them for a time, but it is not enough as time passes the Avengers find themselves in a desperate situation, being forced to the ground by the attackers. However, the tide of the battle evens when Thor makes his hero landing. He immediately unleashed his powers against the Outriders and destroying vast swamp of the army. In number 3. Rainbow Bridge Throughout Thor Ragnarok, Thor is struggling with his own identity and if he is the right person to rule Asgard. Hela, the sister he never knew, starts destroying everything and the lives of all the Asgardians on the line. Thor realizes that even without his hammer, he is still the god of thunder. As they fight on the Rainbow Bridge, Thor has his powers in full force and manages to resist Hela and carves through her army but he realizes she is still too much for him. After nailing Hela with a giant lightning bolt, Thor descends on the Rainbow Bridge and puts his thunder powers to good use and defeats her. Hmm, what do you think? Was this fight cool? Number 2. Hulk Rematch Maybe the best moment in the movie in our opinion, but hey, everyone has one. So what do you think about this moment? It takes place on Sakaar, after Thor is being held prisoner and is forced to do battle with the Grand Master's champion, the Incredible Hulk. The awesome reveal and Thor's hilarious reaction are great, and he is overjoyed at seeing his former teammate and attempts to talk as well as negotiate with him, but makes the mistake of calling him Banner. He even tries the calming technique of Black Widow, but fails. The fight itself is filled with so many wonderful moments. Hulk is egged on by the crowd to beat his former ally. Thor summons some awesome thunder power to fight back, but is overpowered in the beginning. But Thor sees a vision of his father, causing his powers to surge. After that, the tables have turned and Thor starts winning. However, the Grand Master isn't happy with that and cheats by activating the disc on Thor's neck. Number 1. Thanos Rematch We thought of cutting the first battle with Thanos, and chose to give this one a number one spot in the video. After failing to kill Thanos the first time, Thor this time doesn't make the same mistake again. In the aftermath of the attack, Thor, Rogers, and Stark decide to attack Thanos on their own. As they confront Thanos head on, he tells them that he intends to wipe out the whole universe instead of half. Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man find themselves overwhelmed by Thanos' own extraordinary power 
and Combat Pro S as he defeats Captain America and Iron Man and soon manages to pin Thor down and prepares to kill him with Strombreaker. However, before he could completely overpower Thor, Mjolnir hits him and saves him. You know the aftermath of the battle? Iron Man snaps his fingers with the Infinity Gauntlet and wipes Thanos and his population. Do you think the battle was balanced or Thanos seemed overpowered? Well, tell us your opinion in the comments section. Would you agree with our list? If we missed some better fights, tell us in the comments section below. If you want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notifications as soon as our new video pops up. Thank you for watching.